चैप्टर थर्टी श्री साई सचरिता इन चैप्टर थर्टी द मेन लीला इज अबाउट द रेस्टलेस काकाजी वैद्य हु इज आस्ड बाय गॉडस सप्त श्रृंगी टू हैव दर्शन ऑफ श्री साई बाबा एंड श्यामा हु इज आस्ड बाय बाबा टू गो टू वनी एंड फुलफिल हिज डिजीज मदर्स वाउस The next leela is about Baba desiring to meet Kushal Chand so he sends Dikshit to fetch him Simultaneously Kushal Chand is on his way to Shirdi as Baba calls him in his dream The last leela is about Ram Lala Punjabi who dreamt of Baba who appeared as a mahant so he came to Shirdi and made it his home till his death i shall first narrate the story of kaka ji vaidya and how shama brought him to shirdi then describe an interesting leela that took place in recent times in this chapter there is the story of kaka ji vaidya who is eager to visit shirdi as he is devastated by misfortunes and the trials and tribulations of life so he seeks refuge in saptashringi his ishta devi however saptashringi ma asks him to go to baba kaka ji however is unable to find out who this baba is so he goes to triambakeshwar and prays intensely to lord shiva but instead of finding peace he becomes more agitated then he again beseeches goddess saptashringi for help the goddess then directs him to shri sai baba of shirdi at that very juncture shama turns up to fulfill his diseased mother's vow it so happens that shama has to face a lot of difficulties in life and a very reliable astrologer tells him that his misfortunes are due to the unfulfilled vows of his late mother who took these vows when he was a child and he had promised his mother that he would fulfill them however 30 years passed by and he had not done so One of the vows was to offer a pair of silver breast to Saptashringi ma as his mother had recovered from ringworms of the breast. Shama gets the breast prepared and offers them to Baba and asks him to absolve him of the vows. Baba then asks him to go to Vani and offer them to Saptashringi ma. Thus he meets kaka ji and brings him to shirdi now i shall narrate a leela which shows that baba is samartha sadguru leela your shakti is greater than mine muttu swami and raja were friends for a very long time both of them worked at kodak factory in arvankadu tamil nadu raja was devoted to baba while his friend had a guru that he adored time and again he would tell raja how great his guru was and that raja should have his darshan then he too would worship him every time raja politely refused saying baba is my sadguru god and savior i respect your guru but i'm quite content with my devotion to sai baba once they had to go on an official tour to coimbatore his friend told him that they should go and visit his guru as he had come to metopaliam with his followers on a spiritual retreat again raja politely declined however his friend kept on requesting him again and again So Raja reluctantly agreed. They reached the retreat and there was a huge number of devotees that had gathered together in a hall. The guru was seated calmly 
and a long line of devotees were going forward to have his darshan. Raja soon realized that they were going to the Guru to get their problems solved and find answers to their questions. Raja did not have any questions, so he tried to sit far away in a corner. But his friend insisted that they join the queue. Raja obliged as he did not want to make a scene. Then their turn came and Raja found himself in front of the Guru. So he humbly did Namaskar to the Guru. However, the Guru flew into a rage and screamed, Why have you come here? Have you come to test me? He went on shouting at Raja for quite some time. Then he calmed down and said, Which Shakti do you worship? Raja replied that he does not worship any Devi. This made the Guru even more furious than previously. Finally he said, Your Shakti is greater than mine, so tell me which Devi do you worship? Raja did not know what to do. He kept on replying, I do not worship any Devi. Finally, the Guru went into a trance and went physically to Raja's home and then his prayer room. There he saw a beautiful picture of Baba. He then folded his hands and came out of the trance. Then he hugged Raja and said, My child, you don't have to go here and there for any answers. You have the Supreme Sadguru who will surely take you to your goal. He will look after you in every way in this life and any other life that may befall you. Don't ever leave your love and devotion for Him. This Leela was narrated by Sivnation Swamiji. Next is the Leela of Kushal Chand, who had deep Rinana Bandik ties with Baba. A detailed account of the Sand or Kushal Chand's family is described in Chapter 8. In this story, Baba asks him to come to Shirdi in his dream. Simultaneously, Baba sends Dikshit to Rahata to fetch him. And lastly, the story of Ram Lala Punjabi, who had a dream of a Mahant, but knew not who he was. That very evening, he sees a photograph of Baba in a shop, and after inquiring about him, Ram Lala comes to Shirdi and stays there till his death. And this concludes the commentary on the chapter. Om Sai Ram